Hey, welcome back. It's Back to the Basics. I'm Sean Barr, and today we are talking about types of firewalls, stateful inspection, packet filters, application layer firewalls, and anti-X capabilities. What? Let's go! All right, welcome back. We are talking types of firewalls. So really what we're gonna do in this video is really step through the three types of firewalls or our, our lineage through the firewall development uh, and, and kind of taking us to where we are today. So our first generation firewalls were essentially just ACLs. There was no intelligence, no stateful inspection. They really had three actions. So it was pass traffic, drop traffic, and reject traffic. And when I say state, it didn't know if the connection was established or from the inside out or the outside in. So it wasn't tracking in a database type format connections that are going through the ACL. It was just very simple. It said source, destination, source port, destination port. If you had a permit uh, or a pass, it would pass that traffic through. If you had a reject it would, and it was a TCP connection, it would send a reject. If you had drop, it would just silently drop it on the floor and not pass it to the host. So that was our first generation firewalls. Very, very basic. Our second generation firewalls got a little bit smarter. We injected stateful, this idea of state. Well, what is state? It's essentially a database that tracks every connection in the system and if it originated from the inside out or the outside in. And based on the ACLs, it's gonna either pass the traffic or deny it. So, so how, how does stateful inspection or how does state work? Um, if a connection's established from the inside out, let's say it's a TCP connection, I'm a host browsing to a web interface or a web a website somewhere. Uh, we're gonna do a DNS lookup, so maybe that's uh, an in, to an internal DNS or to an external DNS. If let's say I'm going to an external DNS, I'm gonna go out port 53 to, in, on UDP to do a DNS query. I'm gonna get the answer back of the public IP address that website belongs to. And then I'm gonna make a connection from my machine to the uh, port 80 or port 443, depending on what it is, HTTP or HTTPS. And I'm gonna make a connection out to that website. When I make a connection to that website, it's gonna build a connection in the stateful inspection table. That's my source IP to the destination public IP, my source high port, because uh, when machines make a TCP connection, they use over 1024, over 1024, those are the ephemeral range. We're gonna use that as a source port, connecting to a destination port of either 80 or 443. When I do that, the database is gonna build source IP, source port over 1024, destination IP, destination port 80 or 443, it builds that in a table. It automatically has the intelligence to say, on my outside ACL, I'm gonna flip that around and I'm gonna say source IP, the web server, source port, port 80, destination IP, my host IP, destination port, my high port it's gonna automatically build that rule. So we don't have to create a bunch of ACLs in the system to say, hey, allow any high source high ports, uh, source destination, source port 80, destination high ports, like we did in the first generation firewalls. That was a really long-winded example of stateful inspection, but I hope I gave you some, some sense of like, what is it? That's, that's where our second generation firewalls were. They added this database capability so we could really just narrow down the ACLs on the outside interface of our firewalls. And if we wanted to control some ACLs on the inside, it just automated the connections based on where they're established from the source to the destination. All right, so our third generation firewalls are our application layer firewalls. What does application layer firewall mean? Well, it's actually now beyond our second generation firewall, which just said port 80. Now, there was no context from a firewall perspective that port 80 was web traffic. So you could pass any type of traffic on port 80, uh, as long as it was TCP, you know, it, it would pass it. So now with our third generation firewalls, we're actually looking inside at the application layer and making decisions like, is this, this is on port, port 80, but is it HTTP traffic? And so the firewalls can make decisions to block or stop traffic if it's not really HTTP but riding over an HTTP port. Um, and it, there's, there's some options to turn that off and turn it on, application layer inspection on each, each port, um, but it's just adding some layers of security. 
Now, when we talk about next generation firewalls, you'll hear that word a lot. That, that's really taking some of the anti-X capabilities, so antivirus, anti-malware, you could do a web proxy, those types of things are going into the firewalls and actually making that possible. So in line, if I'm downloading some software and uh, it's a virus, it's gonna down, download it, the, the app X, the anti X capabilities in the firewall are gonna look at that and say, is this malware, is it a virus, is it bad? And then block it before the host actually even gets the file. So that's some of the benefits of our next generation firewalls. It, it kinda sits in, in line with the third generation, which is just application layer firewalls, but they've added some capabilities, those anti X capabilities. The, an additional feature is IPS. So uh, intrusion prevention, system so it, it basically is going to look at data and potentially block data in line if it's a vulnerable attack or or command and control for for uh for maybe some backdoor capability that th those ips features will block in real time so it's like uh, a little bit more intelligence from a security perspective Additionally, there's things like user mapping to IP. Now this is valuable if you wanted to say, hey, I've got this AD or directory environment, I integrate my firewall to my AD or my LDAP, it automatically by DHCP knows whose IP address belongs to what user, and now I can associate traffic to a particular user. So I could say this particular user went to these particular IPs and it gives you a little bit better correlation and visibility from a firewall perspective. Those are kind of where we're at in the next generation firewalls and really kind of blending in that third generation firewalls. So that's it. Those are the types of firewalls. That's kind of the lineage. We started with packet filters, just basic pass, drop, reject. We moved to second generation firewalls. We added that database, that stateful inspection capability. And our third generation firewalls, we're actually looking into the ports from an application layer to say, is it really HTTP? Is it DNS? And maybe I can make some changes to the DNS IPs if it's an internal host resolving to a public DNS name. So that's some of the crazy stuff you can do with application layer firewalls. And then, we added in anti-X capabilities. So that's anti-virus, anti-malware, all of that stuff, web proxying capabilities. And man, that's really about it. If you liked what we talked about, make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe so you get some more videos like this. Or if you wanna tell us something to make a video about, we will do it for you. Tweet us, message us, we'll see you later.